<laughs> yeah, I mean, he he wanted that so bad, so I'm, I'm happy for him, and I'm really he was really into it, so he really wanted to have that, so I'm happy for him. I don't know why he gave. I mean, sometimes they just give give people stuff. So, uh, Nicole, on a serious note, how how does Jeff help you uh, defensively? I don't know that he warranted winning this trip, this chain, but how does he help you? You know, he's really good. You know, I think just his ability, his athleticism that he can, in some moments, uh, guard one through five, and then uh, just knowing the game. And uh, he was so much. He's so long in the league. He knows uh, the guys. He doesn't know the rookies, but he knows everybody else. Uh, uh, and uh, you know, just with the experience, with the talk, uh, he, he's he's been he's been great for us for all, the, whole, the the whole season. How do you guys think you were able to win despite 25 turnovers for 38 points for them? Yeah, I mean it's it's unacceptable, you know. But um, to be honest, turnovers are kind of part of our game. We we had the games like this, maybe not just like like this. 40 points of turnovers, it's really bad. Uh, 25. Everybody had like little. Everybody has turnovers. So, but uh, we 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 as a group, we as a group needs to do a better job. You know, that's a that's a that's a recipe for for disaster. It's better just to shoot it. It's a better maybe you're gonna maybe you're gonna make it. So then just don't turn it out, turn it turn it uh, turn turn the ball out. So uh, we need to do a better job as a group. Well, we've kind of asked you this question before, but you're one assist shy of a 2020-10 stat line tonight. When you're playing, do you feel when you're having like actually Nick, Nick told me that they're stealing my assist. We're gonna review a couple. Of issues. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't care. I, I really don't. I I was just having fun. No, I don't care. So uh, it was a really good night uh, for me, and, uh, and uh, I'm just glad that that we won a game. You know, this that is the most important thing of everything. Can you feel it though when you're like literally all over the floor like that, where you're grabbing every board, or you're scoring all the time, or you're getting all of your teammates involved? Can you feel when you have a really productive night? Uh. I, I, in a moment, I I, I kind of do to be honest, uh, but not, not not the whole game, you know. I'm, I think in the game I'm focused about the next play, about next play, about the next play, or or the play that's going going on right now. So I don't think about it like that. Uh, Demarcus has said you guys need a defensive identity. Obviously, Malone has said you guys need a defensive identity. What goes into having that mindset throughout the team for everyone to be on the same page in that regard? I mean, to be honest, under five points is not a bad. I, I, me personally, uh, uh, but uh, we need we need to do it. They scored 30, 32 in, in the first in the first quarter. We just need to. If I think if you set the tone, and then it's gonna be easier for the whole the uh, the, the the whole group. If if the starter set the tone, it's gonna be easier for the bench. Just uh, or, or it's gonna be easier for the rest of the game. We need to start start well. Um, but and uh, the most important thing, it's a four quarter. It's a winning time, and and then uh, they score uh, twenty points. Uh, we didn't score at all, but they scored twenty. That's why that's why we won the game. How did you find out that you were Western Conference Player of the Week? Someone texted me. I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. So you're on social media, so I don't know if somebody like calls you or tells no, you. No, I think I think uh, Tim. Did you text me? I think Tim told me this. I think Tim told me. Yeah. Yeah. What did you think? I mean, it's a it's a great honor, yeah. you know. Uh, it's a nice thing, but it's just a week, you know. It's, it's three, four games, five max. So. So you don't celebrate. I mean, I think everybody has can can have a like three, four good, good games, you know. We haven't talked a ton about Aaron Gordon, but I'm curious, how instrumental has he been in your guys' success, especially with all the injuries and all the health? Issues? I think I think I said it before. He's really good. Uh, he's really. He really cares and he really wants to win. You know, he wants to be better. He wants to understand the game. So that that's I really uh, uh, like about him, and I admire him that he really like take care, like he's caring about something. You know, so he wants to do this. He wants to you know. So he wants to improve, and I, I respect that a lot. Uh, uh, and he was he was good for us. You know. Not just not just because we have injuries, even even without injuries, he he will and he he is gonna be good for us. Nicola, do you get excited when Mate gets eight rebounds or do you get upset that he steals so many rebounds? 
Monte kad ir vīrojums. Uh, big Monte. <laughs> big, yeah. I mean, you know, uh, especially with a lot of mess trees or whatever mesh, I, I think back home in Serbia, we have, we have a bag back in the days, like big man just needs to box out and small guy needs just to pick it up. That's how you rule. But nobody uses that anymore. Uh, but uh, I, I think it's a really good when, when you have a guard who's not going to leak out, who's going to grab the long rebounds for, for you. So he had actually had a big one uh, late in a, late in a, late in a quarter, uh, late in a fourth quarter. I think he he jumped over uh, Trey maybe uh, Trey Lyles and he he got the rebound. He, he knocked down the two free throws. So maybe he he was not playing really good shooting wise, but he won us the game. You know. Couple quick ones on the Zoom. Uh, go ahead, Leonardo Torres. Hi, Nicola. It's Leonardo Torres from Peru. Congrats on the win. <laughs> Nicola, how can you describe the DNA of the team right now? Uh, you know, it's really, uh, I think uh, it's really hard uh, to adapt. First of all, we, we have a new guys coming. And then uh, uh, you can see, like sometimes Austin is in the bench, sometimes uh, Jeff is in the bench. So uh, it's really, it's really like you don't have the routine. But I think that's a good thing actually, because uh, then you can have, you can play with everybody, and then you can uh, like adapt a little bit faster, you know, uh, to the, the to the whole team. Uh, I think from this this point, we we can just be better, you know, we have everything. Um, we just need to practice a little bit more just to get used to used to it, each other, um, just to know the timing, the spacing of the, of the plays uh, and just to know what to do on the play. So uh, on your question, what's our I, I, DNA? Uh, you know, I'm going to say something like uh, grind, like we are grinding, like we're warriors, something like that. Jim Conlon, go ahead. <clears throat> Nicola, um, you came up, up came up against Cade Cunningham for back to back there, and fifty two points in two games. Is he a future star of the NBA and a person that Pistons can build their roster around? I mean, I don't know. Uh, that's answer. For, that's question for the Pistons, but. Uh, I think he was much better uh, this this game than the last game. Um, you know, he's learning everybody. He's learning how to play against AG. He's learning how to play against Faku, smaller guy. So he's learning, and uh, he's really. Uh, you can see the in the game he was pointing and and uh, finding the matchup that he likes, which is smart of him. You know, so um, he he's uh, he understand the game in some way. And uh, he he's talented. He's a big big guard, big you can say whatever, uh, who can shoot. Um, he was, uh, he he have a future, of course. He have a future and potential to be a big, big player. And with our good friend Alexander Zhigic. If you think, Nikola, just hit them now. I literally pulled with the nineteen point and then scored a fifth assistance double double. But it was like it was at the end of the first time. After it was Pojenkovo je asistencija. Ove nelje najbolji igrač u zapadnoj konferenciji NBA Lige je deseti puta karijere, značio se sa Carmelo Mantionim i također vodiš u trci za MVP. A šta kažeš na ove vesti? Kako, vodi? Kako se tu vodi, Bog tu vidi. Šam se. Ovaj, drago mi je to. Ovaj, hvala, hvala na lepim rečima. Drago mi je za sve te uspehe ili šta god bilo. Ovaj, ali je eto, utakmica je na, sjajna, sjajna za nas zato što prvo ovaj, igrali smo protiv njih pre dva dana jako teško pobediti istu ekipu kad igraš za, dan za danom moraš da budeš baš baš mislim, ne moraš da budeš baš baš bolje ali uvijek je teško da igraš dva put sa istim, sa istom, sa istom ekipom uh, imali smo jako puno izumljenih lopti to moramo da popravimo, pošto 25 izumljenih lopti stvarno mislim, dopustivo je da su oni imali 40 pojena iz tih izumljenih lopti. Ovaj, ali dobro, cijela, cijela, mislim da je cijela ekipa igrala dobro. Ovaj, na kraju, eto, Monte je ovaj, 
dao neka, neka bacanja na kraju i mi smo pobedili, odbranili kad smo trebali i eto, tako smo i pobedili. Thank you, Nicola. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, guys. Pleasure, like always.